Let's see if he's selling the fishing pole. Boom. He's selling his hat. He's selling a extended... A diamond ring. I don't think I've got that. Should we buy the diamond ring off him? Let's just sell... Uh, we're going to sell everything we don't need. So we'll sell those. Right, cool. We sold those. We'll sell the fish. Fish. Ah, oh, the, the quest fish have no value. Let's just go grab another platinum. Because I don't carry my platinum around. I'd rather have it in a safe place. Let's so withdraw two of that then. Boom. And let's go talk to him again. And hopefully we could buy this diamond ring. Which I don't think I've ever bought before. Now we have the diamond ring. Is it just aesthetics? It's literally just aesthetics. Wait. Oh. So why can't... Oh, I can. It wouldn't let me equip it in these slots before. It's really weird. because it. Okay. So now I've got a diamond ring on. <laughs> Look at that. Just the diamond ring. It's just it's just literally just for visual purposes, I guess. Not, not for anything else. Just visual. So we've got the diamond ring. Look at that. Beautiful. I like diamond rings. Diamond rings are good. Let's talk to our angler then and see what we'll get for this quest. Boom. Journeyman bait. Swordfish trophy. What? What? A swordfish trophy. I didn't even know you could get one of these. So now we've got the shark teeth trophy and a swordfish trophy. They're both from the angler. How many more trophies can you get off this guy? Like, I thought you could only get... What? Like, no, no. I didn't even think you could get trophies off him. That's the very first time I've heard of a swordfish uh, trophy. Well, looks like we just got the swordfish trophy. <laughs> We're just, we're just killing it today, guys, with all the new stuff. Right, we did get a wooden crate, so we're going to open that up. Dangerous potion, that's pretty nice. And we've got two iron uh, crates. Healing potion, mana potion, gold coins, and a tartar sauce. Lovely look. Little, little guy following me around there. But I think he's a little bit creepy, personally. I don't know. Do you guys think he's creepy? I do. I think he's a bit creepy. But we're going to just uh, swap those back around. I don't even have a pet on me. I haven't died for so long. I just haven't even got a pet on me. The ceiling was following us around. But we don't even have the ceiling spawner on us. We don't. <laughs> we don't even have it out. Right. Seeing as it's near Christmas. I think. Hmm. What should I have following us around? It's near Christmas. I'm going to change it up. To the magic magical pumpkin. There we go. There we go. I know that's more of a Halloween thing, but he looks so cute. He looks too cute. I love him. Right, did we, did we have tar sauce in there? We did. There we go. Two tar sauces now. Let's put that there then. And then we've got a few things in here. Why do we have the celestial stone in here? I don't know. It's guarding, which is plus two defense. This one's uh, plus four movement speed. And that's guarding, so we've got defense there. We need to upgrade these, don't we? Guarding Ank Shield. How much is it to upgrade an Ank Shield anyways? Like 13, 15 gold maybe? Let's go take a look in the Goblin Tinkerer. Let's go talk to him. I've never, I don't think I've ever tried to upgrade them before. Unless I have and I just didn't have enough gold or something. Really don't remember. It's going to be, it's going to be new to me anyway. Let's uh, talk to Tigurd. Hello Tigurd, how are you doing? Go to his shop. No, go to Reforge. It is 10 gold to reforge this. So let's go and reforge it. Boom. Free defense. We got armored. Pretty sure we can get four somehow. Uh, free defense. I'm going to keep armored. And melee speed. We'll keep melee speed. So we've got three, three, three and four. I'll take the three and fours. I, I don't mind them, to be fair. It's nothing bad. It's just... Hmm, I didn't even expect to have them there. Thought I'd expect to have better ones than that. Right, let's sell the potions because we don't need them. Sell the lesser potion, mana potion, and bars. We'll sell that. Swap those back around now because we're not fishing, so it doesn't really matter. And we've got our traps still. Not our traps. We've got our <laughs> teleports. I keep calling them traps. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I keep calling them. I'm bad at remembering things. I keep calling them traps. No, I'm quite good at remembering things. It's just the little things now and again. I just forget them. Right, 6.24 p.m. And I'm pretty sure night time starts at 7.30 p.m. But we could try to summon them in if it, if it helps at all uh, to summon them in. But I'm pretty sure it's like 7, 
but we could try some of them in now. Yeah, I thought so. So we're going to wait until we can do that. While we do that, let's go check what materials we have. Because we do, we might build a pick start today. I'm not 100% sure if we will or won't. Got dangerous potion there. We could just sell those. We don't, we don't need them. Uh, but it's in a bottle. We'll keep that because that's pretty much our only one. Asphalt blocks. Why are they there? That's a really weird place to have them. Normally, I put them with everything else, but it looks like I've just put them in the bottom right corner. That's a bit weird. But, yeah, I must have been in a rush when I was putting them back or something. I have no clue. But we do have a couple of fish on us. Let's have a look. We've got the wyvern tile fish. We've got the peng fish. We've got the bat fish. Oh, we've already got a bat fish on us. I didn't know we did. We've got angel fish, fish of Cthulhu, and harpy fish. So, we've got all those fish that are for the angler for when he's got a quest for us. And... It should be quite good. It should be good to have a hand into him. Right, is it night time yet? Right, it is night time. Here we go then. I think this is the first time I've fought bosses since um, I've removed this sink here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit on this. And then just see what we... Ah, they, I think it's the thingy that's got damage over everything else. The Skeletron Prime. If the Destroyer would have had damage over everything else, then I wouldn't be getting as much annihilated. Because, yeah, it doesn't kill you as much. The destroyer is actually quite weak. And don't take much life off of me at all. I think he might be taking the damage now, though. I'm pretty sure he is. Hopefully. I, don't, I really don't know. But I'm pretty sure I can sit here now and hopefully be safe. I don't know. But we're just going to keep aiming outwards and just see how we do. Yeah, Skeletron's still taking damage. No, it's not. It's actually not taking damage off me. See what I mean? When when they, the damage does it over something else, it's, it's really cool when it does it over something else. I like it when that happens because even though uh, Skeletron Prime's going crazy and he's doing his spinny attack, he doesn't take any life off you, which is great. It's absolutely awesome. But now he's taking damage over th everything else, and I think the Okram will now start taking damage over th everything else because it's so strong. Right, that's Skeletron Prime defeated. They should be the Destroyer defeated soon. Yep, Destroyer defeated. We've got the I of Cthulhu, no, not the I of Cthulhu, Twins almost defeated as well. He's probably the hardest. I always try to take him out because he has flames, and the flames are crazy, crazily tough. So another one gone, the Twins, and Okram, 3, 2, 1, yeah, dead. So I'm going to be farming these tonight. I'm going to speed this part up, so I'll speak to you guys soon. See you in the morning. Believing you will get your round of the bars. Picture for the ones that are lost in life. But even dreaming. There we go, it's daytime now, and look at all these souls. I've killed so many bosses, I've just got so many souls here, and they're going to be worth so much money. Honestly, I'm going to get so much for these, it's going to be unbelievable 
how much I'm going to get off those. It's ridiculous. Honestly, it is. It's just ridiculous. And I did not expect to get that much at all. We get 20 gold for a Titan chainmail. That's mad. We um, got the Twins Mask, which we don't need because we've got all the masks anyway. Uh, Soul of Might. We got 104 of those in one. Ocran Trophy. I'm going to sell that anyway because I've got tons. Hollowed Bars. 39 gold for that many. And we're going to get a load more now. Watch. Watch all this stuff just reel in. Look at all that. We don't even have enough room for it all. Jeez. Uh, we're going to trash all of those, though. Because they're pretty useless to have. And we still don't have enough room for everything. Uh, I'm going to trash those and trash those, trash those. Right. We should have enough room for everything now. Souls of Night. Souls of Fright. There's so many uh, souls. And I'm so glad that I killed the Skeletron Prime just in time. If you looked, I killed it just in time and everything started disappearing. So, yeah. That was a close call. And I'm so happy to get out of there for that. Um, we're going to save all of the adamantite only because it, it can sub supply, um, substitute, sorry, for a red ore, um, red bar or whatever, red something, whatever. Um, when I'm doing pixel arts, it'll substitute for red, the colour red. Right, we're going to get 75 gold for those, 50 gold for those. But I'd recommend killing the um, twins if you want to get the souls because the souls, uh, the twins, souls of sight are worth the most, I think. Pretty sure they are. The souls of flight are uh, fright are actually quite... Expensive as well. One platinum. Wow. A whole platinum. I've made so much platinum. How much have I actually made? Like five, four, four to five platinum from this? It's mad. And I've still not sold everything. That's the thing. I've still got things on the floor to sell. Oh, it's, it's just amazing. It's, it's mental. I find it absolutely crazy. Look at it all. We've still got things that we can pick up. Jeez. Right, I think that's everything now. And Konar, the Witch Doctor, has arrived. Finally, he's come back from the dead. R.I.P. Witch Doctor. I can't believe he died. Like, he must have died so fast. And we have a load of potions and everything. We have so much stuff. Literally, we got loads that time. <laughs> I wasn't expecting so much from that. But, wow. Uh, shocked. I haven't killed bosses for a while. I got a Skeletron Prime Trophy. Oh, we'll keep that one, because I actually like the Skeletron Prime Trophy. I, I like the looks of it, so we're going to keep it just for the for the sake of it. And I think that's everything sold. Yeah, just a trophy that we've got to pull up, which I'm going to pull it up right hmm, here. Yeah, we'll put it there. Why not? We'll just have it there. And it looks like we've uh, come a long way from that then. We've killed so many bosses, we could put them back in here, uh, even though I didn't get them out of here didn't even get them out of here, to be honest. I got them from somewhere else. But I can merge them together with the ones that I have got so that uh, I can put them together. I don't know what, why they're all separated. Let's just put that there, put that there, put that there. Lovely. Uh, we can put those with... Oh, no. They're full. Uh, put those with... Oh. <laughs> put those with those. No. 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 Those with those. And then we've got two left. And then that's all of our spawners. We have honors because we used all of the destroyer spawners, I think. Unless I put those in the chest, which I probably did. Probably just didn't see them. This is random. So we'll just put it in the random chest. Why not? There we go. Lovely. So pickaxe statue. Put that there. Uh, we'll also put the piranha statue here as well. Hopefully we've got a ton more tri uh, triarium spawners. Hopefully we've got an, a ton more plantera spawners. That's what I'm trying to find out. I couldn't think of the name of them then. Uh, of her then. But let's go and see if we've got another quest. Because it is daytime. And we should have another quest by now. I'm hoping we do. But who knows. We might not. Right. Quest. Um, you ever wonder what? Oh, this is the very first time I've got this one. At the surface of the snowy areas. So it looks like we need to go move to the ice biome. And we have a very nice ice biome with a lot of water. So I think this is the first time, like I say, that we have this quest. So I'm hoping that we can do it. And hopefully it's in the right place. <laughs> you know what I'm like. You know what I'm like, guys. I'm, I'm such a dirt when it comes to quests. And I just end up doing, like, the wrong thing or something. It it, it, it happens. It always happens. <laughs> it just does. It's just me, in it. Right, we've got the... This is the ice biome. This is the service. And we should have enough to fish here. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap everything out again. There we go. That's one thing. We don't need to swap that out because that don't give us any fishing bonus, does it, Luke? No, it doesn't. Right, we're in the ice biome. This should be enough to fish. Hopefully it is. Hopefully we get the uh, quest fish quite easily. Don't know if we will. Don't know if we won't. Like I said, never done this quest before. I don't think so. Looks like a really nice fish, though. 10 out of 10. Would fish again. And honestly, it does look like a really nice fish, guys. So I'm hoping that it just comes, like, naturally, like, straight away. But again, I don't know. It don't look like it, it wants to fish anything here. Do I need to make it a little bit... Should we make like a... 
Make it a little bit deeper, maybe? It's, um... Oh, I've just realised after... <laughs> I've taken off my uh, wings, haven't I? Let's just uh, put the wings back again so that I can fly up. There we go, lovely. I like how the fish run wings can fly in water as well. I mean, that's, that's a great feature with the fish run wings. If you haven't got the fish run wings, I would really recommend them just for that feature, even if you don't like them, uh, because they can fly underwater really well. And some of the wings don't fly as well underwater, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they don't, anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I probably am wrong. <laughs> I'm always wrong. <laughs> when aren't I wrong? Oh, I know what it is. I know why it's not fishing. Truffle worm. Always check if you've got a truffle worm in your inventory because it can mess up the things. Right, cool. And we should be able to fish now, hopefully. Is it going to let us fish? Yes, it is. Lovely. We've got some bass to start off with. You know, just a bit of bass. We can cook that up in the morning. Got a bit more bass. That gives us our friends a bit of food, our, ourselves a bit of food. Uh, the next one, I don't know. We're going to be cooking up more things or we're going to get a nice wooden crate. You know, we're getting a bit more bass. I mean, we can give that to one to your parents, one to your sister, one to your brother. You know, oh, we're going to another bath. That, bath. that one could be for your teacher, uh, for your mum's dad's uncle. Yeah, wooden crate, double wooden crates. We've got two crates in a row, so that's very nice. Oh, three crates in a row, just because we're, like, the best, and, you know, the game wants to reward, reward us with being the best. And the way it does that, well, it gives us three crates in a row. We've got the Atlantic Cod. Very nice fish. Uh, I like to cook it on a Tuesday, though. Not, not, not too much on a Sunday or a Monday or a Wednesday. And we've got the Tundra Trout. That's the very first time getting the Tundra Trout. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it to the side because the Tundra Trout actually looks like quite an interesting fish. And I'd like to have two of them. So if, it can, if we can get another one in the next 10 reels, then I'll be... Oh, Golden Crate. Look at that. Beautiful. That This has been worth it already. Already worth it. I've always, already got my bonus... I just have, I just have, okay? I've got a golden crate. We don't get them very often. We've just got one now. So the tundra fish is my good luck, I assume. Right, come on. There we go. We've got another tundra trout. We're going to leave it there. And we've got two, so we've got one that we can look back on and have for another quest fish uh, for in the future. So that's two we got. And we can take the one out of the bin now because if we don't do that, then it's going to, uh, we're going to lose it. It's a really nice fish to look at, that one is. Right, okay, we've got room in here. So I, it's a really, really nice fish. I, I really do like it. Like, it's one, I think that's one of my favourite quest fish. Because it's frosty, it's from the ice biome, and overall it looks really nice. So that's uh, a good investment there for a fish. If you can call a fish an investment. I don't think you can really call a fish an investment, can you? Oh, well. Uh, anyway, we put one away. We've got one. Let's do the quest. And we've got fin wings! Yes, I've been waiting for these for a very long time. They're not the best fit uh, in the game at all, but fin wings are really cool. Like, they're li little. They make you look a bit like a pixie or a bee, but, I mean, fin wings are really cool. Let's see how far I can actually fly up with these things. Not bad, not bad, but it definitely does not beat my fish run wings. Just look at this. That goes so, so much higher. That almost goes double the amount of the other one does. <laughs> so, no, the fin wings are really good, though. They're, they're another thing that I just didn't have yet. And I'm very, very close to getting every single thing from the angler that I could possibly get. Every single thing. Might sound crazy, but no, honestly, every single thing from the angler, um, I've almost got it. And I'm going to put these fin wings in the random chest uh, while we're sorting all our chests out. We haven't sorted a chest out for a while, but I'm not going to do that today because I don't feel up. To sort and chest out today. It's just uh, one of those chores that you got to go around and do. But, no, it's fun. Wow. 17 gold coins. 24 mithril bars. And 3 gravitation potions. All out of one wood. See, the golden crates are very, very good. We've got wooden crates here. Let's say healing potions. Mithril bar. Or a calcum bar. And we've got some t uh, climbing climbing claws. I was going to say tiger climbing claws. That's why I went to say it. But it, it weren't actually tiger climbing claws. Just normal ones. And we've got a silver one, didn't we? Did we not? Oh, it must have been me imagining things then. I imagine things a lot, don't I? <laughs> must have been me imagining things. Right, we've got to go to the shop. And we'll sell all these things. 11 gold. 30 silver. 15 silver. 3 gold. 3... Silver, I think that was. Yeah, not good. Uh, we're going to put that up there. We've got uh, one gold for that. That's not too bad for that. And we've got 25 silver and five Atlantic Cods. 